Hello? Hello? Hi. Alright, um, I want to talk to you about this uh, Kyle Rittenhouse situation. Seems like you're yeah, kind of... Uh, right off the bat, I'm not going to know as much as you. Obviously, I'm from the UK, and I'm not as clued in to the entire situation. But from an outside perspective, right? Um, okay, what I see is go ahead. focus on the legality of the situation. Like, I, I don't know, do you agree that the guy is a fucking idiot still? To begin with. Well, I don't think he should have gone to another place to defend somebody else's property with a gun because I don't think he, I mean, I, I just generally speaking wouldn't do it. I don't think it's worth your life to defend somebody else's property. But if he felt like he was his community, given that he worked in the area as well as his father lived in the area, maybe he could have felt justified in protecting his community. But then do you also agree the emotional side the other way around, where you were saying, don't be the dark knight, call the police, leave the situation? Do yep. you not see that as, like, when it's one of the most emotionally charged situations the US has ever been in, that other people might have a fight-or-fight response as yeah, soon as they I, see I, someone I... approaching a situation with an AR? Yeah, and I think we should always choose flight. That's my message. Don't be Bruce Wayne. Pick flight. You're not bulletproof. I, I then, You're not the but Punisher. Then, You're like, not the that's Daredevil. That's the exact same argument as why he shouldn't have gone to that situation to begin uh, with. How too. is it? Uh, the individual going over to a situation is protecting his community. The person that's trying to kill somebody but do you not or attack... Think... Go ahead. No, sorry. Uh, do you not think that those people are thinking that they're trying to protect their community? There's a difference between because thinking... Because those people are panicking yep. and they're thinking that a guy with an AR mm -hmm. might, uh, might gun us down right now. Sure. The, the, there's a difference between thinking and knowing here, right? You know that if you're going over there and you're just going to protect a house, you know within a high certainty, because you are you, that you're just going to protect that property. That's what you're going to do. However, me going into a situation where somebody just shot another person, I don't know if it was in self-defense, like it seems like it was, or if it was murder. And so, to no. err on the side of caution should always be to disengage, run away, inform people that something is happening and get but, them out of the area. But do you not think the notion of going over to private property to begin with, with the idea of going there to defend your community, is also coming with a preconceived notion of how you think the events are going to be unfolding there? No, because you're just, going there because you're thinking that everything's going off and there's riots happening and mm -hmm. you're going to defend property when the reality of the situation is much there's far less truth in that. So already he's coming. Wait, how, over what, do you, what do you with, mean far less truth in that? Because I well, disagree. Like, there are people clearly, breaking property. Sure. Yeah, there, definitely there are cases of people breaking property, but that's such like a loose reason to go over. Wait, how is a, that a loose reason? To like. The point is, how many cases are there of property being broken into versus the overall situation? How often, it's, it's... how often is it that you are going to need a taser or pepper spray to avoid being raped? Incredibly low, well, correct? But, but, but you're not going specifically with the case of... Well, you're, you're, you're not just brandishing a large... Like if you've brandishing is a very specific term. Okay, brandish, yeah, that's a wrong yeah, term. I've correct, been corrected yeah. on that. I've okay. been corrected on that. I meant uh, holding or whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, if he went with even like a concealed carry, it wouldn't sure. have been that situation is also the thing though. Because if it's a taser, it's hidden, it's in a bag, whatever. Like it, everyone talks about if he didn't have the gun, what would have happened? If he didn't have the gun, he wouldn't have been in the situation. It, uh, like the gun is a very focal point. Well, we of don't this. we don't know if, what have, we we don't know what would have happened well, had he not, not had a gun. A, I guess it's not called a gun, a, a rifle, whatever. Um, well, I mean, it's, but, it can um, be called a gun, but oh, I don't, my, I, don't. my ar I don't I don't know where that argument came from. I don't think I'm wrong. It's a gun. It's a firearm. Anyway, um, the uh, my argument about whether or not he has a justification to be there and whether or not it's different than the other people's uh, specific response is just because it's a low chance that their property might be lit on fire doesn't mean that he can't just stand there and protect property. Why not? But I think if you're going into that situation, you have to think through sure. it entirely. Mm -hmm. And I think that if you're going in that situation, you, you can't just be an idiot and be like, I'm going to go with this AR 
because I'm going to protect these people's property. If he had even gone okay. with like a Glock or something concealed, like that other guy so, had a concealed Glock that I, was, was mm -hmm. the one that drew first on him or whatever. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it was self-defense realistically of the situation, mm -hmm. but that's, uh, I'm less focused on like the legality of the situation and more that so, he is clearly still at fault for being in the situation. So if, so, if, if we want to- Rittenhouse is guilty of self-defense, right? Okay, don't let's let's try to uh thank you thank you both smarts for the 3 months. Um so in reference to you um you were talking about how you believe that he shouldn't have what is your specific problem with the the my argument that like it's okay. You said that it's an incredibly low chance that somebody breaks into that building. He's going there with the possibility of a situation getting aggravated as a result of him open carrying. Yeah, What's I, the I issue with think, that? Like, I just think realistically you have to entirely think about the situation in relation to everything surrounding the world and the US going on at the time. Yeah, okay. I think that realistically when you're in a country as well that has regular mass shootings, I think that it's logical that you would think that people are regularly going to be scared by someone having a large gun. Yeah, I, I, that's why I um, think that like open carry can be like very dangerous. However, however, what justification then does that give for people to be able to break into businesses to be able to loot them? What references I have, I think that then you use the same argument of that's not his responsibility. He calls the police in the same way that the other people should have ran away and called the police. Or you trust the authorities to take care of the situation if, if in the same way that the mm -hmm. other people should have. If left that's and the case, the would you agree, would you agree that like rooftop Koreans and the rooftop Koreans and the Black Panthers and all those people are like really cringe and that they should have just let their businesses get eluded and robbed and called the police? No, but I think that's also entirely different because Why? you're talking about a situation where those people were oppressed and then it got to a breaking point of going past the point of... Like, this man is not coming from a place of oppression in any sense. Like, that's an entirely differently emotionally what makes, charged situation. What, what makes whether or not I'm oppressed a difference in regards to somebody stealing all I of my stuff? I think it's a different... No, no, no. I think it's a... A difference yeah. in understanding why someone does something, though. I don't think it's a difference in the facts of the situation. Well, I think okay, it's a difference sure, in sure. So, um, more understanding why someone does something. Uh, okay, so, what is that difference in understanding of why change the morality of the statement? Because maybe Kyle Rittenhouse just really wanted to protect his community, and that's what he viewed as his community. Maybe he just wanted yes, to do maybe that. maybe he did, and, and like, that's fair. Uh, I mean, not fair, but the point is more about that's more is entirely responsible good. for being in that situation, though. Like he um, is morally if you're responsible, going to but do so that, are the Black Panthers to... and so are the rooftop Koreans. No, I the... agree as well. Yeah, they are. Okay, so I if don't if disagree with if them. he is morally responsible for being in that situation, what's wrong? He's protecting uh, the community legally, right? And within the moral scope, he's just standing next to or or walking around to, in some cases trying to provide uh, medical support to other people in the area. He's just trying to protect the community and prevent like looting of businesses and other shit. It's not like he's going out there agitating trying Why? to. Is that protesters. his responsibility? We keep talking about but this as why, if this is on. his. Why is it the responsibility for like the rooftop Koreans or the Black Panther people who, in some cases, weren't even defending their own communities, but actually moving to other communities that but were I, at higher I'm risk? I'm not saying that it is their responsibility, though. Okay, so if it's not the responsibility, then what does the responsibility have to do but, with the morality? So here's the thing: of in because the same situation, the would you agree that if he was black, he wouldn't be alive? The opposite no, way I, around. No, I think he could absolutely be alive. Why wouldn't he be alive? Well, it's someone in the chat just said something about that. There could be a point in saying that the Black Panthers, etc., would not receive assistance from the state, right? Um, one hundred percent, that's the case. You can agree with that. Like f factually, there's a whole other dynamic in that situation. No, no, no. Here's the, the here's Panthers. the no, no, no. Here's the issue. No, there's no, a whole dynamic a... of. So no no yeah, here's sorry, the here's the well okay so if that's true then what you would agree is if there is an argument that right now let's say me as a black person I want to rally today I want to go over and help protect black owned businesses right now I could do that I couldn't do that excuse me by your argument because the the police could show up and and help me with like retrieving my stolen stuff but, but either even beyond that. This doesn't matter because that doesn't prevent the stuff from getting stolen in the first place. 
right? So the reason why you might protect property, your own property with a weapon, is because you don't want your stuff to get stolen in the first place. Do you, so like, let me ask you this question, because at this point you're asking, you're stating, well, why does he even have to be there? He should just let the police respond to somebody trying to loot a well, building. Well, I was just using the same argument that you used about why the people shouldn't have then been yeah, all oh, dark knight. Oh. Because mm -hmm. I think that it's exactly applicable in the same way. Because then it's, he shouldn't have been all Dark Knight and no, gone there to begin with. No, Dark. And I think the it's fact not that you Dark don't Knight think to that protect that, your... Yeah, but I think I I don't understand how you can't see that that mm -hmm. exact same argument works in the exact same the re situation. The reason why is because I believe it doesn't, and I'm trying to articulate why it doesn't. Okay, so it's because. Go on. There is no what what I stand to gain if I stand outside of my property and protect my property with or, or, or what have you or even other people's property or what have you because yeah. morally speaking I think it's I I genuinely I would not impugn people from flying you know even fucking out of country for a, a, um, a movement that they believe in to protect somebody's property let's say that we have like uh, I don't know Brianna Taylor's uh, it, it, like fucking uh, uh, boyfriend at the time or whatever was like actively getting impugned on by the KKK or wh whatever. Yeah. If some people flew in from out of country to help protect that person's property and help keep them safe, I wouldn't fucking care, right? So I, I don't give a fuck about this state line nonsense that people are talking about, all right, or what have you. Do, do, now, do I think that like yeah. I would necessarily do it? Probably not. That's why I would say that I, I think it's kind of silly. But you have every moral right to do so. But... In specifically in regards to being a dark knight for or, or being like a vigilante for protecting other people's property I know I just don't see it because when you're talking about the police responding to a break-in it's usually post the break-in post people br uh, taking all the shit especially during the uh, um, uh, the uh, protest time like while this was happening when the police are going to be overburdened with uh, different calls whether it be fires that are set by rioters or lootings other lootings that are set, uh, done by rioters you going to lose everything that you own especially if it's like a small business or what have you you're going to lose everything that you own before those cops show up so standing right outside of the uh, place of business with a firearm to be able to protect that business and prevent loss of uh, um, of products or what have you and essentially loss of your livelihood is perfectly fine i think that is perfectly morally fine in morally fine but you're in comparison well, I, 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 to somebody hearing a gunshot, seeing that there's somebody with a gun, and then actively deciding I'm going to try and uh, uh, attack that individual instead of trying to get everybody in the area away to safety, yeah, those are the, you are becoming a vigilante at that point. You have no idea whether or not that person just defended themselves. You have no idea whether or not the maybe the initial aggressor had a fucking gun and was uh, actually brandishing it at um, Kyle in this case. You have no fucking idea so don't act like you no. do and just get to safety that's no no what you i agree do. but that's also why i say there's a problem with giving more people guns because humans are humans at the end of the day and you are only entirely looking at this from a logical perspective which works legally but what i'm no, saying I'm is even as a human at this being an when you're in a scared situation you're not thinking entirely logically it's not easy for you to immediately think right i need to escape this situation and call the police because I think that this man is about to unload on a crowd. And I think entirely, that dis, dis, that like, entirely removing the, the human aspect is easy I'm to do. I'm not entirely and legally... removing the human aspect. I am looking okay. out and making more prescriptions to keep as many people alive as possible. Do you agree or disagree that if these people I'd didn't I entirely agree with you, but so, I'm saying that everyone's not going to logically think that way in a situation, so therefore you should enter that situation knowing that humans are humans, and that there's a likely... Like, if you're going somewhere to protect other people's property, which firstly... You, you agree entirely with that and that's fine and you, I, I get that you, people can want to protect their community in a certain way and whatever I don't entirely agree that you would even go to a situation like that just to protect people's stuff from being stolen there's like I get that it's an inconvenience for people's stuff to being be stolen but that's the whole point of I think in America anyway, it's a different mindset. Can I just ask a real what... quick question in regards yeah. to what you... Okay, so you keep saying, like, you, I'm taking out the human element of it. I completely disagree. No. I think okay. that... I think that what happened was... Do you agree that if gunshots are fired, probably 99% of people on the planet Earth are probably going to run away? Do you agree with that? Yeah. Okay, if that's the case, the, the question that we have to ask is what cultural, um, uh, uh, per, what is culturally pervasive or 
um, is possibly uh, uh, manipulating or changing these people's minds to the point where in which they feel comfortable running at somebody who they have very limited information about who is firing a gun. Why are, Why is that a thing? And one of the reasons well, why that might be a thing is because we're justifying that it's an okay thing to do to be able to rush somebody with a gun when you have no information what's going on. Maybe they defended themselves. Maybe they are an active shooter. And in both scenarios, if they're, let's say that, and I talked about this before, let's say that they are just in self-defense or let's say that they even are an active shooter chasing after them is the wrong thing to do because if you chase after them if they're a good guy they gotta they gotta shoot you and if they're a bad guy they're gonna just shoot you yeah you're always advised to not so uh, I, chase after I, a shooter, I, but so uh, I'm I saying think that... my, I think my messaging about how we should just we should not be encouraging people to do any of the behavior that these people did makes sense because no, if I agree. I'm, I agree. You so should never if, encourage that. So in I don't understand how I'm taking the human element out of it. If 99 percent of humans' hu- natural okay. instinct is to run away, and yes, that yes, is but we it's agree fight that's just though, isn't it? Yeah, it's and all I'm or, saying is that we should choose. We should choose flight 100% of the Definitely. time. Definitely, but argument. we can retroactively say that and say that that's because I agree. Even... You should more run away. We can retroactively say that, but I'm saying more in the situation. It has to be acknowledged that people, even when you're always going to advise people against logic, they're going to do things against logic. Also, I just think that uh, we have entirely different views of what protection is. I don't believe that someone should be killed even if they're stealing someone's property, but that's oh just God. a different take to what you guys believe in in America uh, with defense and whatever. And I understand that that's just cultural difference. I don't okay, think that so you're we, worth- we could, t- we, could, we could talk about that I because think... I'm, I'm, a, I'm about 80% sure I can convince you otherwise, or that your world would be significantly worse if you um, follow you, if you bite on that bullet. But um, so then what is your argument against what I've made? If, if, because my argument has been consistent that morally speaking, Kyle Rittenhouse, like the only thing that he, you could consider condemnable in his behavior is that he wanted to go defend other people's property. And maybe the fact that he was open carrying that open carrying can in, in exacerbate his situation. Uh, it has the but, possibility uh, it, of being it able to do Wasn't he it. also like two days o- before he made a video talking about he wanted to kill some people for shoplifting? So the, I, I don't uh, know if that's it, entirely it, unapplicable okay. to a situation. It's, it's Obviously, he a, might have just in, been saying mm-hmm. that as a joke. I, uh, he might have been saying that okay, as a joke and whatever. Okay, he was 17. And then... I'd be willing to bet you everything yeah. in the world it was a joke. I have made yes. the same jokes when I was like 16, 17. Every one of my I friends agree. made the same jokes when I was, we were I agree, 16, 17. I agree, but there are people that make those jokes and then... Obviously, sometimes people are telling the truth when they say things. And of course, of course, it's this now would put it in an entirely bad light. I agree if it was because it can just be a harmless joke. But then what is there to distinguish anything from anything? What is there to truly distinguish his intentions? Because realistically, we don't have we don't entirely, have the you're entirely taking his intentions at face value. I'm right? not. Which is, I'm is not. Fair. I'm simply but then not. What would. What would convince you otherwise of his intentions? Because he could have said anything at any point over the past few years and it could have just been taken as a joke. So, like, at what point do we start to question his intentions as to why he no, was No, the question and why that you he... need to answer is okay. what intentions at what point do you believe prove a, uh, that he no longer has the right to self-defense? That's your question to I'm, be able no, to answer. I'm entirely open to the fact that it was in, he's entirely innocent and that like he did nothing wrong at all but i think just staunchly defending him is also problematic what are you I get referring to proven when guilty, you say i'm staunchly I, I defending I, him. of course you should be innocent until proven guilty but that doesn't mean you don't question people's motives and why they i have no i have no reason to, to believe with. that his motives were impure until i find like some new information i base all well, of my assumptions I, on I information know, but, but, but then that joke isn't say. applicable at all and i get that that's that can be a 16 year old joke or, but then or what, it can be no I, that just what, has to do with the probability that's an inductive bit of reasoning but even then, though, like, let's what... even assume the reality that he was being serious and let's assume that he was being serious he if he had his rifle he would have killed everybody instead of that that thing and so what going into this next situation he we have seen no evidence that he intended to instigate the situation agitate the situation escalate the situation and in fact we have evidence to be able to show this that is, he de-escalated the, the situation I think a lot of so hold on hold not... on then what is the Sorry. relevance what is the relevance I, of I, your I claim? I think a lot of people are not understanding that. my argument because loads of people are talking about um, 
He was never aggressive or violent. I agree with all of you. He was never aggressive or violent. That's not the point that I'm trying to make in any way at all. So then the point is that a fucking idiot has gone into an emotionally charged situation with an AR and then not expected some sort of reaction. How can no one acknowledge the human element of the okay. realistically a reaction? You can then advise afterwards that you should never, ever immediately chase after a shooter but the point is that he is entirely responsible for a certain portion of that reaction because fight or flight responses are going to be initiated and um like people aren't so going to act I'm entirely actually, logically I'm, I'm gonna give you the destiny am example. i crying yeah, no no hold I'm on crying. i'm gonna give you I'm the crying. destiny example so a woman goes to a club she fears that she's about to get raped she shoots and kills the person who's um like in the process of uh trying to rape her she's running away and there's people that view that situation and think that she's an active shooter and try and chase her down if she attempts to shoot the people coming on or like trying to chase after her would you say that she's morally responsible for the uh, negative repercussions that comes as a result of like I, I guess it depends on what what's happening in the situation mm. I, and i'm saying that um that's a very different situation because uh the aggressor is attacking her without like there being like uh, what what's the argument that she's wearing slutty clothing is the reason wait I'm so saying the, did, wait did the, rosenbaum I'm, have a good justification I'm for saying, attacking no but i'm saying the the holding of the ar is what makes that situation entirely so different let's assume, because no, you're let's approaching assume an that emotionally... she's holding it let's assume she's holding an ar and somebody tries to physically assault her or rape her and then and people then, chase and then people her. chase after her, thinking she's an active shooter. Would you say that that woman, that after like the trial, during the trial of that woman, you go, yeah, well, you know what? She plays quite a big role in it because she went into a really emotionally charged situation and was agitating. No, Let's but say she's it was not going into an emotionally Let's say charged it's, it was in the heart of me too. It's in the heart of me too. Come on, keep up. Be no, good faith with me. What is happening here? Be what is good happening faith. in this situation? Has she entered here. a bar with an AR? Yeah, I, she's in, no, she's she's yeah. Let's say she's what? entered the bar. Yeah, you can open carry inside of certain businesses. You can open carry. You open carry it inside of the business. Somebody tried to sexually assault her, and then she shot them, and then tried to run away, and then people chased her. Yes, and it's in the heart but, at the uh, middle and of then, the height and then of what the do you think would movement. happen. No, what I'm saying what? is people chase after her, and then she defends herself as she's running away. What do you think? Do you think then, while she's in the middle of her trial, talking about how she was defending herself, you would go, but, yeah, you would go over to people's Twitch chats and say, yeah, you know what? She plays I, a large I, role. I, I feel in... like this is a really convoluted, tenuous the re example. The, the reason because... why is because it makes you uncomfortable, and everybody can tell no, it makes you uncomfortable. No, it's not making me uncomfortable. Okay, so let then me just explain answer why the question. Just answer, no, answer no, this statement. Let me statement. explain why it's a convoluted, tenuous example is that what we're saying this woman gets approached by a man who tries to rape her then she shoots a man yep. and run away we're yep. like we're running through hoops to make a comparable example that makes it acceptable man the realistic example of this situation is a guy going specifically to so defend property with a gun it's not just someone who is walking around with a gun and then so then hold on if that is your someone... point if that is what? your point then you have to contend with the fact that you are arguing that it is morally wrong to defend property with a gun that that's what your your argument is then because you keep appealing to oh yeah but in points. my country it is so that's I, why I mean, so, it's culturally so you have different an, so you have an issue that's with defending so you have an issue though. with defending property with a gun so that's why it is a cultural difference you can't so, kill on. someone you, for, you have an for, issue you like have you can kind of kill someone for entering property that isn't theirs in the uk but it's far less like you you don't get no charges <laughs> So you would say that you can't so do so is that cultural difference so the in issue opinion. the issue is you keep changing your opinion whenever I give you a hypothetical that you don't like. So you said that there was nothing what? morally wrong with the, the things that Kyle Rittenhouse did. Now you're in the position of saying, well, no, what Kyle Rittenhouse did was wrong. You cannot defend property with a weapon. Is that your position? No, no, no. Yes earlier no? I said earlier I said this is where it's different. But I no, literally no. said this is point is that you can't. Is it wrong to defend your property? I, I, with you're a weapon? saying that I changed my opinion on that. I yeah. said that the okay. entire time that I so just that answer my Is it wrong to defend property with a firearm? Killing someone to defend property, as I said earlier, I didn't change my position on this. Okay. I don't believe that that's fair. And then you said you were going to convince me why it wasn't wrong. So I've okay. changed my opinion so, on sure. that. I've said so, that the entire time. 
Okay, sure. So, well, I mean, you don't have to kill somebody to defend a property with a firearm. But nonetheless... Yeah, but I'm just saying it's it's more, far more like okay, I'm so talking about... So then we, like could, yeah, we, could, we could talk about you're that You're going to intend to kill someone if you're... So, so more than likely. The problem is you, you, had, you had conflicting statements. You said that he cannot do anything... He didn't do anything morally wrong, but you also say that you cannot... It is morally wrong to defend property with um, uh, uh, by killing somebody. So, which... I mean, like he didn't defend the property by uh, uh, the, by killing somebody, but in regards to the hypothetical that I gave you, the individual didn't kill somebody uh, by defending property either. So I don't know why you're getting caught up on this because you're saying he was there to defend property and that's what makes it different than the example of the woman in the club. However, he never killed anybody in the defense of the property. He killed somebody in the defense of himself inside of the no, example No, but I mean, gave he's him. gone to this situation for a specific it reason. It doesn't matter the what in his the reason for being there is. No, but I know it it doesn't legally matter. No, it doesn't so morally on matter. The legality that it doesn't morally matter. Like, okay. Let's assume that she let's assume that she went to the club because her friend owns the club and she wants to help protect it. And then somebody tries to physically assault her while she's doing that. What because they think that she's an active shooter? No, 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 no. Did she's just standing outside of the fucking shit, right? Some random dumb fuck walks up on her, tries to sexually assault her while she's defending a business. She shoots, kills him, runs away, and then people chase after her, and she shoots and kills those people. Would you say that that woman has is responsible for agitating that situation, or would you say that the person that was trying to sexually assault her probably was responsible for agitating that situation? Uh, you're talking about a sexually assault, a sexual assault, right? Rather yep. than people seeing someone with a gun and panicking thinking that they're going to be unloaded on like that's why i don't think that this situation is comparable because you're talking about a woman who was being attacked like for no reason other than they wanted to no, be they so wanted to sexu rosenbaum, sexually assault them rosenbaum had stated that he verbally had verbally stated that he wanted to fucking kill uh, Rittenhouse without any provocation, right? Rittenhouse was just being Rittenhouse, right? So what do you, what do yeah. you mean? What do you mean? But, uh, I'm saying that it's... That's not a reaction what, what, to an active that shooter. She's, res she's responsible resp in a certain way. She's not responsible for almost getting sexually assaulted, but then the, res the response after that situation is not to, like continue with the gun it's to put the gun down most definitely and explain the situation to the people so around you submit, so you I submit to the mob why... doing the submit to the mob yeah tape. but you keep talking about the submit to the mob this is a different situation to a mob anyway this is why i think that that's a what do you mean incredible tenuous incredibly tenuous comparison because one is a protest where obviously emotional emotionally charged people are happening where i could perhaps see a more submit to the mob scenario whereas the other situation is just a woman in a bar with a gun it's not going to be a situation where you don't put the gun down afterwards. I don't really understand how that if is. People comparable. are chasing you. People are chasing you. Somebody just showed a, a intent to be able to harm you. Maybe you want to keep your gun on you. I mean, you just proved that your gun is absolutely useful to keep on you because it just prevented you from getting sexually assaulted. So why would you put your gun down and fear for this something maybe like that happening again? Why would you think that, what, you think that everyone's now going to start chasing and sexually assaulting you? That's why it's a different situation to the, to the mob, because obviously it's more likely in Carl Rittenhouse's situation that people are then going to continue chasing him. Again, we've already stated multiple times it doesn't have to do with the likelihood. What's the likelihood that people even have to use a gun on an no, intruder the, in no, the no, first no, place? No, 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 the likelihood is 100% relevant, because no, the point not. is, in that situation at a bar, when you're getting assaulted, you immediately put the gun down and explain the situation to everyone else. In the situation when you've gone with a gun to a protest right and you you end up someone ends up charging at you i understand the fear from carl afterwards uh, but the point is that he then has to think before going into that situation that he has to understand the fear of the situation whereas at the bar someone gets assaulted you put the gun down and you explain the situation and it's fine because there's not a mob mentality you're at a bar like that that's a completely tenuous not relevant example 
No, I, 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 100% work. I disagree with this. Why would I have to put my gun down and disarm myself just that way? Like, what? Like, why? Why would I do that? Well, you don't even have to put your gun down. I don't think you're going get, to start getting chased down after well, you, what I'm if you're a woman. What the hypothetical says that you are. People yeah, believe you're, that you're, you're an you're active shooter. You're coming up with a hypothetical situation no, that I'm isn't No, I'm giving you a perfect... Likely. Your statement. No, your statement going into this is there's going to be people that believe that there's an active shooter in the area and are going to try and be vigilantes because to be able to disengage. Of it being a protest, though, so is we, exactly so the on. point. If, I want to hear. Then, if it it's wasn't, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. If it wasn't, hold on. If it wasn't, if it wasn't an emotionally charged time, I don't have a right to be able to go after these people. And you would just say, "Fuck these people. They deserve to be dead." What What are you talking about? What? I don't have I'm, to go I'm, off, I'm saying to specifically, if the BLM protests were not happening, you wouldn't even be talking about this at all. Is your statement? What do you? What, what what does that mean as a as a question? You Sorry, are you stating explain? that it is contextually necessary that the BLM protests are happening in the way that they are happening in order for these people to be able to be justified in chasing after this person. I'm just wondering why. I'm not you saying think they're justified in chasing after him at all. That's why I've said okay, the entire so time. If hold on. If they're not justified in what, doing it, we, then why does Kyle, why about... is Kyle Ritt, hold on? Why is Kyle Rittenhouse morally impunable for running away with his? gun and not and getting chased by these people why is that more a morally impunable thing that he's morally impunable for being in the situation to begin with why? is what i why? keep trying to why? talk about why because i'm saying that the point is when you approach the blm protests are specifically relevant this is why it's so no. difficult because everyone wants, it's to, let me, everyone wants you just... to compare different <sighs> situations right everyone wants to compare different situations when i don't think that's even useful to ever fucking do you should look at each situation Jesus. on its own I, as I can tell the... hypotheticals are unbelievably important to be able to understand the logical extents of okay, your no, statements. Okay, no, hypotheticals can be... Uh, okay, That's I what I gave you as a hypothetical. A little bit on that. Backtrack a little bit on that, in the sense that what I mean, though, is you can look at hypotheticals, but then you have to only specifically look at the situation on its own as well, is the point. Like, hypotheticals are useful for understanding different people's reasons for doing things and, like, why situations arise, and you should always look at hypotheticals in how to combat these situations in the future but the point is more that each individual in this individual situation a man has driven 20 minutes out of the way great it was only 20 minutes he's driven 20 minutes to go protect some property and then been surprised at the fact that people would have evoked a fight or fight response these people it doesn't matter if they were wrong in their thinking, okay? These people, immediately their thoughts were they were protecting themselves, right? So in the same way as they were wrong in their thinking, it doesn't mean that it, that's not a likely situation to happen and you have to think of the likelihood of that situation when you enter it. If it's an like, unjustified, I, if it's an unjustified action, he is not morally responsible to circumnavigate his situation on the basis that people are idiots and are going to go out of their way to play vigilantes when they're also carrying guns. Because the thing it seems like you're weirdly not pointing out is to, uh, that one of the individuals had a gun and drew it yeah, on concealed. him as well. Yeah, concealed. That and? was the point, again, that I tried to talk about. No, because specifically the situation of it not being concealed is what led to the... I don't know what, like we keep you. We keep trying to skirt around, like, uh, like focus on certain points while removing all of the individual points that add up together that make this a more complex situation than it just being a guy defending himself. Because I completely agree, legally he's going to get off and nothing's going to happen. But uh, that, that's not the point of the situation. I'm talking about. He needs some sort of. Uh, consequences for his actions uh, it, so it, it, th this is the problem is you're being inconsistent in one breath you say he's not morally impunable for anything is what you said well, earlier no, I, I didn't if i said that i didn't mean say morally okay. i meant say legally okay my all right my bad all right what is he morally impunable for list them all of them he's morally impunable for not accounting for the entirety of the situation is the point that i'm talking about how when you look at this situation so, you have to look at the broader picture of when you're going into this situation he evidently had preconceived notions of what he was entering into or he wouldn't have brought an ar because realistically an ar didn't need to be in the situation to begin with i like i understand another guy had a concealed carry but like you you are entering the situation with the maybe not intention but the possibility of using this gun 
right? That's the only reason sure. you're bringing this gun to this situation specifically. Sure. It's not like he's just walking what, okay. around on What's a regular day What's with a gun, with which is fine. You What's can wrong with walk that, around. Though? Well, I'm saying you're walking into a situation with the expectation yep. of possibly is, using a gun in an emotionally charged time in the yep. US what and then is, mm -hmm. and then reacting to people being scared of you what in that time. I'm saying what is wrong with bringing a gun to relevant. that situation? What is wrong with bringing a gun to that situation? You said it's morally impunable. What is wrong with that? I think that realistically you have to understand as a white or white person, passing person as you enter a like it, it doesn't matter if it's wrong you you have to understand that in an emotionally charged situation in the us where consistently there have been mass shootings consistently there have been um like what was the the protest where the uh guys all came with their guns uh in protest against the blm protests uh i can't remember what it was called i don't know uh, are you talking about january 6th but that wasn't against blm uh, there was one over the, over the over last year. Um, sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, well, nonetheless, you can. But keep anyway, going. Uh, like, uh, it's more about the entirety of. Um, okay, so you keep saying he needs to think about these things. What's morally wrong with bringing a gun to a protest? To protect it, private it, property. It's morally wrong that you can't understand <laughs> that you're going to be perceived as a threat as soon as you okay, enter that situation. what is wrong with being perceived as a threat? What? What is what wrong with being perceived as a threat? Then, what then, is then wrong you with have being to understand that people threat? might act irrationally and and react to it, you being a threat. If, because if, these hold people, on, if people regularly... If, because you're saying this is a morally impunable thing for Kyle Rittenhouse. If people view him as a threat, that's fine. Okay, just don't fuck with the property. That's the that's the point. If you view him as a threat and then say, "Well, he's a threat. Let me go uh, with com and agitate this situation and physically assault him without no, provocation." Yeah, without provocation, they're not viewing him as you. someone that's just going to stand on the sidelines. That's and their fault. That has nothing to do with Kyle at all. If he is viewed as a greater threat because he's open carrying a firearm or his, what have you, his, yeah. But here's the his... point of that: is their fault. But this is this is the problem that we keep seem to be getting stuck on. It's not about the fault of uh, I. Those people should never have chased after him and sh and done that. The point is that oh, I, I can't explain this properly because I've explained it already. But I feel like we're just on two entirely different pages. What I'm trying if if you enter a situation where someone is going to perceive you as a threat as a human being. Right? These people are perceiving him to be a threat where they think he might open fire at any time, okay? And I think that that is an understandable perception, is the point that I'm trying to can't put across. Yeah, that's an, is understandable, that that is an understandable perception, perception, but they had an unjustified response. And so that the unjustified response then provoked a lethal response from Kyle Rittenhouse. But in your in your opinion, it's an unjustified response because they should have ran away and called yes. the authorities. Well, no, but, not but in I'm my opinion. That... Objectively, they should. Anybody okay, that understands uh, anything, one hundred percent agrees that. But, but the point is that what I'm saying is that removes the human element because it removes the fight or How? the fly or fight response. No, that's okay. bu that's bullshit. Okay, you but can't I, just I... hold on. You're making a natural. You're making an appeal to nature nature at this point or whatever the fuck you're trying to make right now just because you say there's a natural fight or flight response and the fuck does that matter there's a natural fight or flight response whenever my like i don't know my significant I, other I'm gives me that shocking you, news that doesn't mean someone... i'm gonna punch her in the fucking face that means that there are there is a reasonable and justified way of handling things and there's an unjustified way of handling things the there's an unjustified un hold, on, way of... hold on their unjustified way of handling things resulted in an escalation of the situation that resulted in lethal uh, uh action being taken by kyle rittenhouse all right that's not on kyle rittenhouse all right he didn't do anything based on the, what I've seen, and you can let me know. Yeah, the, legally, the, he didn't do no, anything no, wrong. No, the no, there's nothing. Keep... Him just being there with the gun is not enough, in my opinion. Yeah, but you or view other... the gun being there as not a problem, I, is again, the point. So then if your problem is the gun. It's not the fact that he just is simply hit. So, like, are you saying that nobody can open carry? That if you open carry, you lose your right to self-defense? Is that no, what you're not. saying? This is if you are going on a normal day open carrying. I think that there's smart things to do and there's stupid things to do. I think if you're going open carry to a protest, 
I think you're a fucking idiot. No, okay, and I, think we, I, don't, I don't care. I don't care about well, them being an idiot. And I think I'm realistically, if you're doing it in an open carry and people think you're about, you might potentially open fire on a crowd, justified or not, I think that that is a reasonable thing to think. Therefore, then a response is either uh, neutralize the threat or run away no, from the threat. No, here's the issue. You're justifying I... the action of neutralizing the threat. If you feel like somebody's going to be opening fire on a crowd, you should always run away. Anybody that tries to neutralize the threat is trying to be some vigilante Bruce Wayne type beat, and they, and they are in the wrong there, because um, even in the scenario that that person is there only to protect themselves, you are then forcing that person to kill you. And if they okay, are an okay. active shooter, then they you are also forcing them Okay, then you. what's ever the point of carrying a gun for your protection then in the same way? If you're what talking you about vigilante killing, whatever. If if someone is in a different situation, the exact situation where they then, that Kyle then you have in, no no, some... you then have a threat and you see someone else with a gun, then you should never draw your gun on them as well. Because so you're say saying again? that the the correct you're response to that situation is always to run away and call the yeah, authorities. Yeah, so it's always and not to be disengage. A yes. You should always disengage. You should never unless carry a gun, then, yeah? No. You, you should can, never no, carry you a can, gun, then, by can, that logic. Wait, do you think you can always disengage? No, I'm, I'm if, not saying, hey, but there's hey, the potential. Hey, hey, hey buddy. We're if literally, there's the potential hold on, to hey, disengage. Hey, buddy, we're literally talking about a case where a guy with a gun was trying to run away and people were faster than him. Just because you have a gun doesn't mean you can always disengage. All right? You might carry a gun because you might get put in a situation where you can't disengage with uh, other people. Right? Yeah, Kyle but Rittenhouse I'm saying was if you running can away, disengage, then. Uh, yeah, Kyle Rittenhouse was running away and he got struck in the back by people. It was struck. So, like, yes. You sometimes will have to be uh, be put in a position where you run away and you cannot escape. And in those situations where you cannot escape, you do have to, unfortunately, uh, do whatever you can to s resolve the situation. And in some cases, that will resolve in discharging the weapon. But realistically, he's scared of them killing him, and they're scared of him killing them. Yeah, and they should and run away is... because otherwise yeah, they're it, putting somebody that's... in the position where he has to shoot his firearm. There is no reality where somebody with a gun that you're charging trying to disarm them is just going to hand you the gun. You are putting them in a have... position where they so have saying... to use it. Oh my god. So you're saying, uh, but then if there's, a... I'm saying you, you then in that situation you solely carry a gun for a situation where you cannot disengage. Yeah, when when yes. you can't when you can't disengage, when you can't um, so deescalate. So you can yes. only ever use it when you can't disengage. Yes, is what you're saying. Like, yeah. So, yes. so if someone, you do, you, no, 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 no. When, when you when you can't when you cannot deescalate the situation, when you can't deescalate the situation, I think that's where the majority of people would disagree with you. Because what? if someone is, for example, a different situation where you can disengage and run away, okay. But someone else is has a gun and is killing people. Would you agree that the person that then kills that person uh, uh, shoots the? You don't have no. You you wait. I'm thing, sorry. Are, so thing. you're saying so you're saying there's an is active shooter. Doing Hold a just on. Thing. Are you saying that there's an active shooter and then I have a gun and then I can kill the active shooter? Is that what no, you're but asking? I, I'm obviously you're saying that they should disengage and I yes. agree. But I'm saying that then if they don't disengage and end up neutralizing the target, is that a co is, will that person be celebrated or not? They will be celebrated. Okay. Well, it, depend so the no, point it depends. No, it depends. It depends on the outcome. Okay. If you're asking whether or not like people are post hoc and will do it based on the situation, it depends. So, like the example I like to give is the Las Vegas shooting, where there's a lot of people that didn't know what was going on. If everybody had guns in that crowd, there probably would have been people that uh, pulled out their uh, their firearm and discharged it in a reckless manner, and then one person would have saw somebody discharging the firearm in the crowd, pulled out their firearm, discharged it yeah, at that and, person, and so yeah, on and no. so forth. Right, so it depends on the outcome. People are post. Well, I'm saying if they're yeah. so, so yeah, but so then we're saying the outcome is all that matters. No, the so, outcome so we're, is we're, all that matters because... to the general public because what you're saying is, would they be praised? I don't know. People get praised for stupid shit. Uh, Kyle, half of these conservatives are praising Kyle Rittenhouse as like the golden boy who like did the world justice by killing BLM protesters, and the other half, and then you have a bunch of leftists that say that he should be raped in prison. Right? The public's opinion is trash. We're not talking about public opinion. We're talking about what we can justify and what we can't. So then I would I would uh, posit that him going there to defend property with a gun 
when he could just disengage from the situation? Is that no, not applicable? The, it, no, the issue with defending property then is you're, you have a responsibility to de-escalate the situation. And, and, and now, we're, now we're to the point like where I think we need to be, which is why can uh, somebody like morally defend property with a firearm all the way up to like lethal intent? Even though that's not even this case because he wasn't even defending property at this point. He was defending himself. Right? Somebody physically yeah, no, but I'm saying him. going with the intent of defending property, right? So then so wait, he is wrong on. for what them is... going into that situation when, in reality, if someone's breaking into property uh, and has the potential of having a firearm, you should probably disengage well, and run no, away okay, from that so situation. Why is that, the why is that relevant? So let's say I go to, um, let's say I go, uh, let's even take an extreme example. Let's say I go to, um, or no, no, let's just stay consistent. Let's say he's going there to defend property and then somebody, you know, assaults him physically assaults him, threatens his life and by through a uh, physical assault and verbal assault, all right, what have you, shows an intent to kill, right? Does he just lose his right to be able to defend himself because he went there originally to defend property? No, no one's talking about losing the right to defend yourself. Okay, so then what yourself. is he morally well, impunable for? I'm talking the intent of going there to begin with. If you're talking about you should never engage with a situation like that, I'm saying the intent of going there to begin with, you're you're intending to be engaged in a situation specifically like no, that. No, you're not. That's not uh, your intent. Uh, your intent is to be there in case something happens. Not yeah, in but your in case something happens, you should then disengage and call the authorities in the exact no, same you way. Should de so de so you, you then should just de don't be no, there. No, no, no. You should de-escalate the situation what? and disengage it is what you should do. De-escalation is incredibly important. This is the reason why people call How for de-escalation. How do de you de the non-trained 17-year-old? Tell them to not steal shit. So when you're, you're an untrained 17 year old. Yeah. Um, and lots of time, trained people mess up de escalating yeah, situations. Yeah, I don't disagree. It's just natural. It's natural that that happens. Yeah, you know, I, don't, I don't human disagree. Beings fuck up. Hold on. Human beings fuck up. Can and you he's tell gone me? there. Mm -hmm. But then we're saying that you should always disengage from an, a situation that you can disengage from and call the authorities, but can we're you, not acknowledging that he didn't you, do that. He wait, could he have then did just do not that. Gone wait, there. what did he. Wait, how did no, he no, disengage? I'm, saying, I'm not talking about the killing of the people i'm talking about going there to begin with he's gone with the intention of being there in some sort of situation that's not a disengagement. because he's going so, there to protect right so then let's talk about why you can morally go to a place or do something while protecting property use lethal using a gun to be able to defend property let's talk about that okay seems the good 100 seems good 100 okay. seems good 100 seems Hold good up. 100 seems good 100 okay the reason let's assume a world where you cannot use lethal force to be able to defend your property i'm a small business owner all of my money is inside of my small business this is 50 percent of businesses inside of the united states probably less now due to coronavirus but that was the case at least a while ago 50 percent of businesses inside of the united states are small businesses they work pretty much paycheck to paycheck have massive amounts of debt so if i lose this business i lose my whole livelihood right that's what i lose right people in the area lose jobs they lose their livelihood as well for example as well um, for people that like to talk about the rioting and looting not affecting uh, people even for large businesses um, I think there was a if somebody in chat could find it there was a, a little snippet shown of like 15 Walgreens getting shut down due to the riots that were happening and uh, BLM uh, protests that were or yeah. sorry not the protests excuse me the protests are fine the riots that were happening and that's 400 jobs removed from these low-income communities that need them 400 jobs right that are removed yeah. right that's no small deal just because you want some free stuff okay that's no small deal it's 400 uh, jobs removed from these communities okay so me going over to a business to protect it with lethal intent because at the end of the day this is people's livelihoods it's not just a place of business it's not just my property it is my livelihood so i want you to tell me why i shouldn't be able to defend that livelihood with a gun well, do you not think that the authorities should have better ability to to defend that rather they than it being they, your responsibility? No, then? I, th I think they sh we should do both. But the fact of the matter and the material reality is they do not have it at the moment. So engage with the reality of the situation. Why can I not defend my property with a firearm if I recognize that it might be my life? Because you're talking about the reality of the situation in your sense, but not the reality of the situation of going... Uh, to a I protest am. I'm literally, with an AR. I'm literally because we're hold talking on, about hold on, uh, hold we, on. Yeah, because you're trying to skirt around it. I am talking about going anywhere to defend property with lethal, impossible lethal intent. 
I have, that's what I'm talking about. I gave the moral justification because often this is people's livelihoods. It's their jobs. It's their careers. It's literally the debt that they took out collateral on their fucking house for. They took out a mortgage to be able to buy that business and you're looting it. And I'm not going to let yeah, that happen. And if they, that requires me st getting posted up with a gun, then that's my right. And you know what? That's morally fine. What you're is morally going wrong all the with way that? to the extremes of the point because it benefits your point. I'm not going to the exactly extremes. I'm the even point. talking about if Walgreens gets robbed, to, like jobs get lost, right? I'm, I'm talking about any private business. Any private business, if it gets robbed to a certain degree, may close down. And there was, we can show uh, like record numbers of businesses closing down but, as a result of robberies. why is it? the responsibility to go with lethal intent rather than uh better support for people in those situations is more i know you're saying faced with the reality of the than... situation of you, you know it's not that way but the point is that the, the the response isn't then to do the thing that causes the most harm to life in, in, is my view, we can, is no, the point? Hold, we can do both. And, and there are many people that do both. I can sit I can sit right outside of my business and say, don't steal my shit, but also argue for systemic change that makes it so way people don't have to steal in the first place. I can do both. There is nothing wrong with protecting private property with lethal intent as a deterrent. There is nothing wrong with that. And if but I would I like to hear what I is wrong... Disagree okay, that, what I disagree is wrong? that if you're not trained, that you should... If for the exact same reason you said about the vegas shooting of someone is then shoots someone and then they see someone else with a gun and there's panics and there's people shooting and everything i think that if you're not trained to be in that situation you should not be in that situation because you're far more likely to cause far more harm than good if people are going to rob this property okay they're going to do it whether you're there or not unless that's you're there with a literal what? army of people no that's no, bullshit no, 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 are no, you if joking you're at a massive wait prop, hold on if you're hold at... on no, no no answer me this simple question how is it you can simultaneously hold these two positions earlier we talked about 99 percent of the time when people hear guns shots they're going to run away how can you hold that position but also hold the position that nobody's going to be deterred by you standing outside of a shot no, no, they're, they're not going to they're not going to necessarily not be deterred how do you hold those two positions no no they're not going to necessarily not be deterred i saying that uh, if someone really wanted to be in that situation there's mob mentality going on whatever all the points that you made of mob mentality do you not agree that you're far more likely to cause much more harm than good in that situation no, when you're not I don't, trained no, specifically no, I don't, to de-escalate those kind of situations. No, I don't necessarily no, train because of what we said. No, because of what we said. Hold on, hold on. Because of what we said. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You asked me a question. Because of what we said earlier, 99% of people are going to see you holding a gun and say, fuck off. There's a lot of these rioters are just teenagers that want some free stuff and want to adventure and have some fun. That's what they are. They're fucking 20 year olds. They're 22 year olds, 23 year olds that want to have some fun you know crack open a, a fucking window and take some free shit that's what they want to do they're just there to have some fun not a lot of these people are here specifically maliciously here to like fucking burn down places and shit like that and if they see a guy posted outside of his place with a gun they're gonna keep walking and they're gonna walk over to the next building that's what we agreed on earlier when we were talking about 99 percent of people are well, gonna 99 have a percent of people are response. scared but i but, also think that hold on that but doesn't that, invalidate that, that Sorry, 90 God. that's what you're looking to do is reduce the likelihood that your shit gets stolen. Reduce the likelihood that no, your livelihood no. gets robbed from you. Reduce the likelihood that your fucking community becomes impoverished because a bunch no. of fucking cringy no. ass fucking, uh, you know, uh, pizza face looking teenagers want to take some free shit. I think at the root of this, we just fundamentally agree originally on the intent of going to a situation. Well, I think we fundamentally agree with disagree with the fact that I think if you're not specifically trained to de-escalate a situation, knowing that trained people often fail in de-escalating these kinds of situations, and you're 17 years old and you're going there with an assault rifle, I, I, I think that specifically you should know that you're far more likely to cause more harm than good when you enter that situation. I disagree. Is what I say. And you you're disagree more, with hold that. On. So you're more fine. likely you're more likely to cause more so harm than fine. hold on. You're more likely to cause more harm than good if a situation was to become lethal. But we've already agreed that the weapon alone is such a strong deterrent that 99% of people will just keep walking and will not yes, actually Yes, 99% of people right? will keep and, the walking in a normal so I situation. Think, and but I, I think, think that, that is... That no, doesn't... no, no. That's even in this situation. We talked about even in this no, no, situation, 99% no, of people will keep walking. I, I think that in like a mob mentality, in a crowd protest mentality, I think that it's 
maybe goes down to 75% of people running realistically because you see this many times. You see this with uh, the London London Bridge stabbing that happened not too long ago. This guy charged up to stop a guy with a knife. It, it's what happens when uh, people okay, try to be the hero. A knife is dramatically whatever. different than a gun. Of course it is. No, no, I'm not saying that it's the same, but I'm saying that the hero aspect of it is is kind of the same in that when you're in a protest, you feel very together as a group and you think, we, I'm going to try and protect these people. And I think that's more likely to happen than in a random shooting in the streets or whatever. And I think that that has to be acknowledged when you enter that situation. So I think that if you're there... Uh, I'm talking about the intent of going there with a gun. You have to acknowledge that so you're far more likely. So what you're saying, so what you're saying then is situation... that you should just allow your business to get No, wrong. I think that you have to acknowledge that, that uh, when you enter that situation, there's the potential for something who's, to go wrong. To and then it's, if you're not trained that. for that situation, your your ability to de-escalate that massively goes down. Okay, who's to say he didn't acknowledge that? Who's rifle? to say he didn't acknowledge that? And then ultimately said, yeah, I want to defend this community. Well, I think that if you acknowledge that and then go along with it anyway, you're at fault. Because so I'm saying would, if so you're not trained to de-escalate a situation so then what you and you're saying expecting... is specifically, oh. so then what you are saying specifically is I'm not allowed to defend my property. I'm not allowed to defend my property at all. That's what you're saying. 